Today we want to talk about low voltage, high voltage isolation, how to do it a little bit, and uh, why it's so important. So we're looking at a Model 3. Uh, this is a structural repair. So we've just completed putting a new quarter panel and some structural components on there, and it's heading down to paint. Um, low voltage and high voltage isolation are critical in an electric vehicle uh, because of several reasons. One being we're welding on this car. So we're passing a lot of voltage through these welded areas of the vehicle. Whenever you're doing that, you got to ensure that the low voltage and high voltage systems are isolated from any current that may be flowing through the body. If you don't, you could wind up with a lot of electronics damage to the vehicle. So briefly, we'll look at the elements required to be able to isolate those things. If we take a look here, we're looking at the penthouse of the battery assembly. And as most of you know, the battery assembly essentially runs from all the way back here under the vehicle to all the way up here behind the rear wheels. So the battery on a Model 3 is suspended underneath. This assembly here is the penthouse. So under this is the battery control module and the contactors and a few other things, but high voltage uh, issues inside here. So you have to be very safe when working here. The first thing that we want to safe out is the low voltage system. So on this vehicle, it's, a, it's powered by a 16 volt lithium ion battery. It's a 12 volt system. And as many of you know, Tesla is now moving to a 48 volt architecture. So super exciting uh, on Cybertruck and we'll soon see that on other Teslas as well. But in order to isolate the low voltage system on this vehicle, we would have to deal with three things. One is the 12 volt communicator. I'm pointing at it right here. And this is the part of the battery that talks to the 12 volt system. Uh, right next to it is the what powers the 12 volt system. So the little battery in the car, the 16 volt lithium ion, gets all its power from right here. So we have to address communication. And then if we come around front, we'll take a look here. And we've got to take a look at two other things up front here. The low voltage battery, again, a 16 volt battery, a 12 volt system. We have to disconnect this, this. And we also have to disconnect what's called the fireman's loop here. So this is, as you can see, in an accident where a uh, emergency responder would come and snip to isolate the high voltage battery in the vehicle. So there's a sequence to isolation. And we always want to disconnect the 12 volt battery first, and then the fireman's loop, and then back here to the communicator. And as we bring the car back after repairs, we need to reconnect those items. So. That's a little bit about how to isolate low voltage and high voltage systems uh, in a Tesla when you're doing structural repairs. And there's many other occasions when we'll need to do that as well. So in closing, it's important to realize that these are very unique machines. Low voltage system powered by a 480 volt direct current battery. Uh, you need to think differently about how to repair those. So for you as a EV fan or a consumer, make sure whoever's repairing your vehicle has deep knowledge of what's going on with this thing and how to make proper repairs, has the proper training, proper tooling, proper equipment. Uh, failure to understand these systems and how to properly service them could create way more damage to a vehicle than even the initial damage. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. We'll be glad to answer all those in our upcoming podcast. Thanks again.